So what is up guys, Kelly Kevin today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website this week. This is going to be episode 255 within my series, but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot within this video is going to be HD Photo Realism Ivy Enhanced Texture Detail Version by Greenback12. A little bit of a mouthful, but what this does is it absolutely changes all of the textures and the meshes to do with the ivy scattered around. Now, the best place for me to find ivy was obviously Riverwood, and the comparison is really, really different, that is for sure. Now, I'm going to keep this one just for the simple fact of this one it is only coming in at 4.9 megabytes of a download it doesn't clash with anything that i have if it is clashing with anything you have make sure you put this particular mod or other sort of general texture mods make sure it is in the load order at the bottom that enhances any other textures in your load order so pretty much put this at the bottom and you should be absolutely fine a small change within this one but adding small things going up and collectively adding the small things definitely is going to make a massive change to the game and for the simplistic fact of that this one is coming an incredibly small download size for when I enter my Riverwood now especially with other different things like the JK's mod which adds a load of other different things to certain settlements this one for the Ivy that's heavily implemented within Riverwood is definitely as you can tell on screen now probably doesn't do it a lot of justice but let me tell you it looks really nice indeed for the second spot within this video is going to be Dragon Priest Mask of Immersion with Hoods by Legacy Artist. This is going to be a port from the Nexus Mods.com and this one is coming in at 69.2 megabytes of a download. For this one the textures are going to be a port of 2k, very nice indeed. And for this one it simply adds a little bit more immersion to do with them, aka adding the hoods with the mask. The hoods intertwine with the corresponding mask that the dragon priest is actually wearing they look very nice indeed definitely does mix up the armor if not sort of the vanilla sort of npcs or again vanilla armor to do with the game very nice in deed arena i did enjoy this one that is for sure Compatibility, this version also replaces the meshes for the masks and the hoods. Oh, well, there you go then. It actually does change everything to do with the vanilla base game. Very nice indeed. If you haven't grabbed this one and tried it, definitely worth picking up if you are rocking the Dragon Priest mask. If not, this might persuade you to implement it within your character's build. For the third spot within this video is going to be Liago the Warrior, a Kajik follower, coming in at 564.1 kilobytes of a download. This character has a full dialogue, if not a fully voiced Kajik voice, alongside this beautiful follower character. Liago is a dark haired Kajik warrior. He summons a saber cat to help him in combat to fight by his side. He also has another couple of other different spells as well. He can be found hanging around the Sleeping Giants in, in Riverwood. Very awesome new followers. Nice to see a new Kajik follower added to the game. Usually it's a Nord or a Breton. So if you are sort of roaming as a Kajik and you want a fellow Kajik with you by your side, that is pretty damn cool. Not only in the aspect of the spells, but also the aesthetic point of view. And it's very close to home too. It's probably one of the main starting areas as well. Very easy to pick up and great if you are starting a new game too for this one. But yeah, not too bad as it is coming less than a megabyte of a download. For the Panama spot within this video is going to be Alchemy Grand Master Enchantments. Coming in at 14 kilobytes of a download. Replaces Miri's Ring Enchantment with new enchantments that make alchemist more rewarded if not rewarding if you are going through the aspect the enchantment adds longer lasting potions stronger potions and multiple potions at once when crafting obviously that is due to your level very nice indeed for a little slight change to do some scripts of to do with the alchemy perk this is pretty damn cool indeed and for the fifth and final spot within the video is going to be dragonborn keep the players home coming 
coming in at 146.5 kilobytes of a download. Dragonborn Keep is a castle that was built inside of a mountain sometime in the second era. A large home with beautiful high ceilings, the Dragonborn Keep is a minimalist's dream home that is lightly furnished and includes five bedrooms, a kitchen, a crafting room, an armory, a treasury, and a large dining hall with a throne. So if you want something simplistic but quite airy, very nice indeed, sort of something a little bit more open spaced, then this is going to be the player home for you to pick up and try. So guys, that's it for this episode. This has been episode 255 within my series. Guys, if you did enjoy, I would very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me out an awful lot. If you want to go above and beyond and you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button. Right next to it, there's a little bell. If you click that, it's absolutely free. What happens in when you click that little bell is that you get a notification for every single time I upload a video to the channel. But until the next one, guys, kill a kefir and kill a kev out.